Great. Thanks for coming. We are starting the evening now. This is our event number 35. And I think this time I counted correct. Last time I counted wrong, but nobody noticed it. So 35. The conference distributed over locations and time. And the location today is Brevas. Thanks a lot for being here. Um, or having us, better said. Welcome. Um, this is Patrick, <laughs> and there are some people from Brevas if you have any questions. So Brevas is basically a consulting company. They work with employed consultants and subcontractors. I have a pretty long business relation with first Retec and now Brevas. So Retec is now part of Brevas. And they're always looking for good people, so send them your CV. So I've forgotten something. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, open house after work here. So if you haven't have enough on Monday, the Rust meetup and yesterday the Code Snack party and today's Sweden CPP, you can have one event. <laughs> An event till who's uh, one, yeah, one more. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So just but do they need to to RSB on Sunday? Uh, if they don't, uh, we will have an open house, so you can knock on the door. But okay. There is on the website on the event. Okay. Yeah. So just just step by. Hmm. C plus plus news. So who has been here the last few meetups? Yeah. And you know, I always said if you want to present C plus plus news, tell me, and you can present C plus plus news, and nobody did. So today you will have to listen to me. Sorry. Um. But this is also, so maybe some remember that I started with the Swedish Institute of Standards, creating a local mirror of the uh, WG21, is it? Uh, the C++ Standard Committee, which is embedded in another subcommittee, which has also numbers, I think. Uh, uh, is it 22, it SC22? Yeah, it's, it's 22. And the Swedish mirror is, is AG Nornir. So it's I, all these, these letters in two languages, they just confuse me. But basically, we, had, we were running uh, on trial for a little over a year. And this trial has unfortunately ended. And this is what this means is uh, inclusive. So it's a uh, price. It, uh, this is the size of the company. And this is how many representatives you can have, and this is uh, what it costs in thousands of crowns. So this is what it costs to participate on the CIS standards. So you can be the best person for the, Sweden, uh, for, for, for the C++ standard if you are not in a company that is willing to carry these costs. Sorry. Maybe this explains something. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I will. I, I can. Maybe we'll talk another time about this. But this is how it is. The positive thing is, of course, I keep the door open, so Agenda Nine will not disappear. It will be there at least for one year. I think we will have some people from Gothenburg uh, joining because they are already in in the ISO. Because if your company is already in the ISO committee, they might be in the right group. So just one, one, one detail. It's, this is actually, I got this slide from this, but it's not correct. It's not just for admin on mine. It's basically for technical committee 611 you pay for. And this contains a lot. So this is the uh, mirror of the uh, SC22, where you have COBOL, C, C++, Secure Software, Linux standard base, and this stuff. But there is also cloud computing, there is big data, there is testing, there is software process. So there is really a lot in this group that is actually very interesting for, let's say, regulated industries. So there is still a chance that you can convince your management why it's worth to actually pay the money if you want to join. And if you need to help to argue with the management and get reasons why this is a good investment, then you can come to me and I will help you. Um, yes, and the year of C++ successors, while CPP from the Yak, who has heard of those three? At least a few, yeah. So these are the three interesting ones, and then we have Carbon. This is what we will hear maybe the most in the future. So the first one comes from Adobe Software Lab. 
uh, Simparent and they get several people from the Swift developer and they make the compilers written in Swift. Pretty cool. And they make things they couldn't do in Swift or maybe something like this. And they tried also to be interoperability with C. Then we have CPP Front, Herb Sutter, and others, which is like uh, TypeScript for JavaScript. So you will write in a new programming language, but it transpiles the code into standard C++ and then combines the C++. And I think this is the very most interesting um, approach. And you can already run this. You can uh, download something. There is also a CMake helper project that gives you a CMake and integrates it in CMake. So if you want, you can already play with this. Yacht is from, who knows, Serenity OS. Some, yeah, this is an operating system started by some guy here in Sweden. And they have written the whole kernel and everything in C++. And they do everything. So it's, 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 not, it's, a, it's a toy project, it's a fun project, so they do it just for fun. And to learn something, and people drop in and contribute something, but they write everything on their own, a browser, audio, whatnot. And they also started with a, um, with a programming language that transpiles to C++, as I understand it. I haven't had time to look into this. And then we have Carbon from Google, which is basically the implementation of the C++ coding guidelines from Google into a programming language. And we will see how this will turns out. It's not even a compiler at the moment. It's an idea and some unit tests for the future. But we will see how this works. But I think we see some very interesting um, development in the future. And yeah, there are signs on the wall. Maybe we can read them. OK, this is a something cool. Sweden CPP homepage. Um, this link never worked, but now it does. <laughs> and the, the reason is I had this, when I wrote this stuff, I wrote it in Node.js. And then I hosted it on Heroku back then, because it was the easiest to, to host it without running my own server, for which I have no time, unfortunately. And Heroku has not a good DNS solution. And if you want Heroku DNS, then you need DNS flattening. And Lupia doesn't do this. And it was a mess. So it worked from time to sometimes, and then it didn't work anymore, and so on. And since Salesforce bought Heroku, it's not an improvement of this company. And I was very annoyed. and. Some weeks ago, I was annoyed enough to do something. And I moved the whole stuff to Fly.io. And now everything works. No certificate issues. No, the domain works, subdomain works. And it's even cheaper than Heroku. And yeah, go to this web page and look at it. I think it's cool. It, the content writes itself and updates it. It's awesome. Best, best place for C++ news. And then the reminder for our YouTube channel, Sweden CPP. And here is also a story. So, sorry for having so much story to, today. I hope you're not bored meanwhile. But when we had Phil Nash here, who was at the Phil Nash event? Yeah, Sam. I made the video and uploaded the video to YouTube. And then a few days later, I got uh, from a guy who makes all the videos for CppCon, CPP on C, and all the C++ conference, the big ones, said, all right, your videos get pirated. I said, fine, more people see it. And then I said in this conversation, but you know what? These are all commercial YouTube channels. I haven't commercialized my channel. So here with the people on our channel, they can uh, see it without advertisement. And the guy said, yeah, this was like it has been years ago. But meanwhile, someone about 2020, YouTube changed their policy. So if you upload content, they say, thank you. We will put advertisement on it as much as we can. Also, OK, so you mean I need to monetize it to turn off the advertisement? It, this is basically what I had to do. So I made the whole process of being a YouTuber. Wow, cool. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's actually, it's, 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 I mean, I mean, I'm a C++ embedded developer mostly. So <laughs> these things is really strange for me, all this web stuff. But what I did, I didn't turn off all the advertisement because then Google doesn't show your videos anymore because why should they show videos where there's no advertisement in it? They are not nice. So what I did was I turned off the annoying stuff. So for example, there are advertisements you cannot skip. So I turned off these ones, for example. But you have the advertisements that you can skip. So I try to find the best balance that our videos get shown. 
but also that the users are not annoyed and I will work on concepts to have an alternative in, in future, but that's mostly, it's not a technical or, or it's, it's, it's a time problem for me to make this possible. But the awesome thing is I get money from this and the money I get, it might be around 50 grand a month, we will see. I haven't never got money so far because you need 700 grounds, then you will get money. But these 50 grounds will be a flyer where we host the website. Ooh. And this will be the first time that something actually brings for me back and this was, makes me excited that this might uh, be self-sustaining, so to speak. Yeah, and last time I was complaining, we have no C++ podcast. And I don't know why I didn't know this. So I was already, shit, we have no C++ podcast. I need to do one. But there is one, and this is actually CPP Club UK. It's a pretty awesome one. Uh, maybe for a lot of people too technical, paper focused and so on. I like it as a source uh, of information. But what they do awesome is creating a transcript, tagging the content, have this searchable, and having chapter support on the stuff. And if you do such, a, it's, it's technically pretty challenging. I, I don't know either they have a transcript or they really invest a lot of power to have, uh, they have help of AI to get such good transcripts and tagging support and it's, it's pretty amazing. So there is one podcast for C++. No stress for me to create one. We can do something different now. Okay, this is for the C++ news, um, upcoming Events still very likely first December, hopefully. And then I already start with 2023. It will be about six events. And then when something pops in between, someone needs a rehearsal for a conference, so we will make it on demand. We will see. And of course, for making our meetups speakers. And as you see, we had Rust, we had Swift last time I'm speaking. Today we have also something. You see, I widened the scope a little bit. You can relate everything to C++. So <coughs> please send me ideas what you want to talk or just say, hey, I want to talk, but I have no topic. I will find one for you. No problem. But let me know. And I would, even if this is the most <laughs> stressful kind of evening for me, a lightning talk special. We ha didn't have had a lightning talk special for a pretty long time now. And it would be awesome to have an evening just with 10 lightning talks, not these hardcore lightning talks after five minutes you fly from the stage, but these five to 10 minutes. Present a tool, a book, something you find cool. Let me know and we will we'll do it. So this would be the, but you need to please contact me. <laughs> Otherwise it's really, really hard. Yeah, quiz time. Usually the JetBrains license, and this time I make it like this. So I usually, not Photoshop, I gimp our, our things a little bit. And I wonder, does anyone see what I did to this picture which we have taken last time we have been here? It's really, really hard, I know. But I did something. And it's related always to the title, so it's not just random stuff I do. It's, there is mostly something in it. Anyone has a guess? Did you add that? No, Grevers, we have been here at Grevers. So. Yeah. <coughs> the, the Roman vase on, is that here? Hmm? The Roman vase on the whiteboard? Yeah, exactly. So this is, this is uh, Cassandra. Mm. Mm. And you know, listen to me, Cassandra. Cassandra was um, from Troia a princess and got a ball fought in love with her and gave her the gift to foresee the future. And then he called, oh, now she will love me, but she didn't, right? So he got a little bit angry, but the Greek God couldn't take away the gift. Is. So he gave her another gift and this is no one will believe her. And I tell this sometimes to my manager, me talking in a company is like being Cassandra. <laughs> yeah, but license, you come to me in the break. That vase, by the way, uh, I guess this one exists in, in a museum here in Stockholm. I uh, actually I don't. Near Mal, uh, Malmö, uh, Malmö Tori. Um, well, yeah, we can look uh, it up. The, the, the picture uh, is from 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 Wikipedia. So yeah, today's program, Madeleine. I'm super happy you come 
to Stockholm and give us a little bit of uh, improvement of our soft skills. Then we will have our Minge um, out there. We have still seats here in the first row, please come. Because now we change. Okay. And then 